think one reason why I wanted to talk about this is because you kind of called me out on it once publicly about you said you imagined that I was angry. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time, I wasn't angry, and uh, but anger is something I deal with a lot. I just wanted to hear your thoughts on what you think about anger and if there's a healthy way to utilize it. Yeah, I think anger is uh, extremely sacred in the sense of it's like a very fiery energy. And um, there's so much cool research on this. Like if you're specifically wanting to dive into the topic of how different emotions might vibrate at different frequencies. Uh, there's this, have you ever read any of David Hawkins by any chance? He has some great books. So I might be partly biased with my answer based on some of the research I've done from him. Um, but like if I remember him, what he says correctly and what I've experienced in the events and everything is that like anger is much of a, a much faster energy, a much more intense energy and a much healthier energy than like say no emotion, say depression. Yeah, yeah. So some, if someone say is they caught in a depressing state, they may want to get angry first. So I, I think yeah. anger is a beautiful thing. The yeah. thing with anger is because it has so much fire and so much light, um, it can create a big shadow. And if so, so someone can get used by anger rather than using it. And that's where I think you see, we see violence. Like where we've seen violence is when someone has suppressed something so long that their anger is so bottled up and pent up that they're no longer in control of it. It like overtakes them. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I feel, yeah, I actually feel it's healthy for me to use anger, but it's not typically what people expect from me. And when I'm angry, I feel much, I feel like I have a lot more energy. In certain situations, obviously, I feel like there's certain situations where it might not be helping that specific circumstance, but more and more, I've uh, learned to let it out, and it feels good afterwards. Sometimes during it, people around me might not like it, but it feels good for me. And you know where I learned it the first time was at one of your retreats when JP had us scream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is a great way for if someone feels like they're out of control with their anger, I do think like uh -huh. a scream therapy or some kind of cathartic release is a great idea. Yeah. However, I think that um, when we're aware of our anger or when I'm aware of my yeah. anger, and I can like use it to the advantage of my expression. Yeah. I can use it to the advantage of being more loving, um, yeah. more caring, I, I, paradoxically more peaceful. I can, if I know what I'm angry about or if I can, see my anger before I express it, I can actually channel that anger to be more peaceful. So in the sense yeah. of like, wow, I'm feeling some anger build up. Let me go really run. Like I wanted to be, I wanted yeah. to go for a good run today. Let me let that be fuel for my fire, for my run. And then when I'm back home with Deanna, although this anger might be a cover up for sadness or it might be kind of hiding something that's even more scarier for me than anger, maybe yeah. something I want to express to Deanna, maybe now that I've expressed it in the run, I've gotten fitter, I got faster, and I'm more now present with Deanna rather than just letting it explode out of control. It's like the yeah. difference between um, a volcano that never erupts and it blows its top off versus like Yellowstone National Park. That's an active volcano. But there's so many geysers going off all the time. Yeah. It's just like letting steam off. And all of a sudden that fire, that fire that's being expressed in steam and geysers is one of the most attractive places on earth. And I think some of the best fighters in the world, some of the best athletes in the world, they've learned to transmute their anger into success. And yeah. on the other side of anger though, it's some, a lot of times I've seen anger be a cover up for sadness or for boredom or for yeah. frustration. So I think if we get really clear with our own anger, it might be really revealing to what's going on at a deeper level, maybe some, some sort of sadness that we haven't been able to look at. And I think the more we peel back every emotion, the, all that's left is love. So anger is like, oh, there's, there's something happening. Like love wants to be expressed. And first we gotta yeah. let out the mud. We gotta let out the dirty, like the dirty, you know, the geysers. We gotta let that out so that we can be as loving as possible. Yeah, as I uh, as I learn more from you and learn more from myself and um, get in more touch with emotions, the question's always like, where's the threshold when anger can not be helping? 
Yeah. You know, when anger isn't serving me um, or serving people around me. So uh, that's just something I've never been really good at with being in touch with my emotions and expressing it freely. So anger is just one of those things that just comes out so naturally. I typically don't show other people the anger or maybe people can see it, but I don't show it 100%. Um, I, I usually uh, express it, like you said, like when I run. I run angry. <laughs> A lot of people probably don't know that, but I definitely run angry. And I let out that energy so that, like you said, when I return to wherever that is, whether physically or mentally, I'm at a place of peace, even if the anger is still kind of with me. Yeah, anger is real fast energy, and it is, it's not to be handled by the amateurs in a reckless way. It's like it's yeah. something to be really practiced with, to be really aware with. It's basically um, as a, like a gun. It's like a yeah. weapon. It's a weapon. It's a weapon that can be used to provide for your family in the sense of someone can use a bow for a deer, or yeah, you can yeah. use your anger to be extremely successful business wise, or to get stuff done, or to become fitter. Or if that weapon is turned the wrong way and used in the wrong way, all of a sudden it's like, holy moly, then anger gets a bad rep. Then a bow and arrow, or a gun, or a weapon gets a bad rep. Yeah, so. That's that's uh, yeah, it's a great um, segue to that other part. When I express anger, even small amounts to people, of course, it's it's harder for me to harness that energy with people or directing directing it to people in a healthy way because I only know how to do it by myself. Like when I'm working out or I'm like you said running. One of the funniest things, uh, naturally, I get angry at sometimes right I like the circumstances or maybe there's a situation where I'm not agreeing with and anger will just build up in me and sometimes I will literally clean the whole house I'm just like clean like you know when people are on drugs or something they just like kind of go crazy and just like like have OCD I literally will just clean everything um I don't know if that's healthy or not because I know that he sees me like that so I don't know. You know well, like, that's what, like, do I express it with words to her? Yeah, so I, I love like the metaphor, once again, of, like the uh, anger can be a tool or a weapon. And I think when yeah. you're, you are using the tool of anger to clean the house and get things done, and there yeah. might be even a more powerful way to use it, which is the deepest connection possible with your wife or whoever it may be, a business partner or whoever you might think you're angry at. And I think the best way to do that is to realize that Anyone that we're angry at or anyone that you may be angry at or people that I've been angry at in the past, they're usually reflecting something that I don't understand, something I don't like about myself or something that I like want for myself that I'm not willing to admit. Like so aka envy, all of a sudden anger is covering up envy. So below that anger may be envy or jealousy or whatever it is. But I, uh, I think that one of the best ways for me I found when I, if I'm going to be angry and I think I'm angry with Deanna, is to really own my own anger. To not say, I'm angry at you because you did this. It's yeah. like, I feel this anger because how I experienced this. Like, this is yeah. my, I'll be really clear with Deanna or be really clear with whoever it is. That, like, this is your expression and they're not responsible for it. And you're wanting to navigate it in the best way possible for both of them. Like, to use it as a tool for connection rather than a weapon of destruction. And I think yeah. that vulnerability and admitting that, like, if it's Deanna, like, I have, I'm experiencing anger and I'm not saying it has to do with you. Like, this mental small self of me wants to blame you for something. Are you yeah. willing to be with me while I kind of navigate what I think I'm angry about? So those are the three things. It's either you're angry because you don't understand what th that person is doing or what they're, like, signaling out. I'm angry at myself for something maybe I'm like seeing in them. And the other one is the third one was you're angry uh, because you could be seeing something in the other person that you are envious for. Yeah, that, that's the way I've seen it show up in the trifecta. I'm sure there's yeah. offshoots, but those seem to be the main three sources of someone's anger. <laughs> and we have one minute till 11 minutes is up. Is there anything else that you wanted to chat about? I definitely want to talk to you more uh, whenever it's best for both of us, but I, I'm definitely honoring these creative constraints. I love Got them. It. Not that, I mean, there's definitely other things, but not in one minute. But thank you, man. I appreciate your book. It's 
amazing book. I feel more people would benefit from reading those kind of books versus how to make a million dollars. I think I think it's a good book before the million dollars. That way, when they have a million dollars, they'll maybe use it healthier. Maybe, yeah, maybe they'll get they'll get to the million dollars more quickly if they read that book. That's what I'm talking and about. Maybe it's not a million dollars; it's a million of something else. Exactly, exactly. They they may have thought it was a million dollars, and until they realized there's like a million ounces of love they were looking for. All right, man. Well, I, I want to honor this eleven minutes. Uh, yeah. I, uh, thank you. Appreciate your time. Yeah, let's chat soon. Uh, that is 11 minutes on the dot. And thanks, thanks for you. Thanks for you being you and talking about this with me. Run,